today we are creating an asteroid field inside blender and first of all thank you guys for subscribing and your support we have reached 700 subscribers and i know with your support we will soon reach 1000 subscribers so without any further ado let's get started with blender open delete everything and just go to edit preferences and search for add mesh or extra enable extra object add-ons and we are good to go press shift a mesh go to rock generator and now open it up and here in the preset select asteroid increase the number of asteroid to 5 or 6 whatever you like and if you want you can change many things here i would like to change the seed value everything else is fine let's create very good looking asteroid so yeah this is fine we have some rock or other asteroids now go to object transform randomize transform and move them apart they like to stay close together but we want to see them separately. here we go so we have few asteroids nice now first we need to texture this go to shading tab and open up new material you can download the textures from ambient cg and uh, for further you need node wrangler so go to edit preferences and add on search for node wrangler and enable it as we have enabled it now select the principal and click ctrl shift t and search for your texture and select everything press this now we have the material but as you can see it's not quite right so just click tab and you unwrap that's good and there is many variations we won't see this little glitch we have don't worry about that select all of them and click the textured one control l link material now select everything else and unwrap them as well now we have our textured rocks if you would like to change something you can click here in the UV map and increase the bump now let's head over to geometry nodes and here the fun begins let's add a plane and yeah first of all move all these asteroids into asteroid collection and hide it we have our plane selected now create new delete this group input we want curve circle so press c twice and we got curve circle and duplicate it we need two of them so plug this into the output as you can see it gives us a circle we want to join both of these add a join geometry node plug them here and as we have same radius we want to change both again so you can decrease radius one of them i like to change it to 0.5 and now we need a fill curve node so we can fill this and make a disk with this disk we need to scale it in the transform geometry node and let's scale it like 10 times bigger this is it so you can increase or decrease the center according to your liking i like 0.5 and 1 and this is quite handy instead of changing radius over here now uh, we need to distribute some points so add a distribute point on faces node and we have a bunch of points on our disk so this is too much if your computer can't handle it just decrease it for now now mine can handle so i'll put it to 10 and with seed value you can change how they look now add instance on point node we're gonna instance our asteroids onto this everything is gone because we don't have any input in our instance so let's bring our asteroid collection and click this separate and reset children and also check this pick instance node otherwise it will just place every asteroid on the same point so now we can see this is a mess decrease the scale to 0.1 and this is okay so what i mean by not as you can see if we don't click on pick instance it will just spawn all of the asteroid in the same point over and over if you click there it will choose randomly now uh, we don't want everything to look so flat and uh, so uniform so let's add a random value node 
duplicate it twice and first we just decrease this to 0.1 otherwise the asteroid scale as one is to one and plug this random value into rotation and increase this to 360 degree so now we have bunch of rocks small and big asteroid and with a random rotation now we want them so don't look to so flat we want them to scatter on the z-axis for that that we need to move them up so we will add a set position node here and a noise texture for randomization and if we plug the factor into the offset you can see they are moving but not quite what we wanted let's add we only want them to affect the z axis move on to the z axis so we will add a combine x y z node and plug this factor only in the z axis and this is not too much randomized so we need a math node to increase the values with this math node selected if we put in on add you can see it's just moving everything along but if we change it to multiply then we can see something crazy going on and you can move all this together down uh, but as you can see the origin is still here that's why i add this transform geometry node so you can just decrease it and bring it to the center of origin we don't want to just look at it like that i mean asteroid in space are always floating so they need to move and for that movement first we will animate the rotation for that we need a math node we'll add this math node and for animation we need scene time and we will add the second into the value and if you press play as you can see they are moving but they are moving so fast so we need math node we will set this to divide and put a value of 5 or you can increase it to 10 as we have randomized random value node it will just random don't you worry about it now we have animated the rotation but we need them to move as well so for that let's make some room here and add a translate instance node and we need to translate the value so first we will add a math node set to add and add another math node this will be on the greater than and we don't need to change any values just make it zero plug this divide node into the value and this value in here plug this into translate and now as you can see they are moving up and down but this is so fast so just decrease the value on add node so they will be moving slowly but we want them to move more slow so we will decrease them more or less still let's change it to multiply and that's where the fun begins now as you can see they are still moving up and down but very slow so as if you don't know this speed of moving up and down will increase gradually so you don't have to put too much this is fine so here we have our asteroid field set up here is the texture view now quickly set up the background so for that i am going to use custom planet add-on which is uh, free with one planet and star field and we need that star field pack. here you can click on create a star field and as you can see it created the star field in one click you can increase the ambient light to 2 and the star strength to 10 10 and star field strength you can play with that here you can change the scale and numbers of stars and we are missing out the sun 
so we need a sun go to light add a sun and here if your viewport lagging like mine you can just decrease the density always and it's still facing the issue you can just go here and turn on simplify and decrease this to two that will work faster now we need some fog in there so go to shading tab add a cylinder not icosphere cylinder or we can work with icosphere let's give it a material delete the principal vspf and add a volume scatter node plug into the volume this too dense so let's decrease it to 0 0.01 and 0.5 and isotropy side and isotropy is too less this is fine we have the sun and now it's time to animate our camera so for our camera animation we will create Let's hide the icosphere for now and we will create a curve circle. We press it to fill up our asteroid field and just change some point. And now add a camera. I'll give it a follow path constraint and select our BGS curve. And we choose follow curve, rotate it 90 degree, and okay, this is the wrong direction. Just rotate it one more time, 180 degrees. I'll find the keyframe, the first value, and look to the end, give it 100 and keyframe it now with the camera view we can fly through our asteroid field this is looking so fast so i'll just decrease this by moving the keyframe and here we have our asteroid field and don't forget to check out my galactic city scape feedback pack link in the description and thanks for watching